but this is the interesting one just in terms of an observation so um if you're not familiar if you're not aware there is this great party right called crossbreed that takes place all across the uk started up by a guy called kiwi right and it's a sex positive party sort of like i'd imagine done it with the inspiration of places like what was that place in berlin Kit Kat, right where essentially you go dressed up in some really kinky sex positive gear and you basically get to have a little bit of debauched fun with your friends and strangers um under the temple of electronic dance music right so it's pretty pretty sick and i think it's really cool because they go really out of their way to have a real clear criteria there's a very strict door policy they have all the safety precautions that are needed indoors for you to feel safe and you have to dress up right that's the part of it that i think really makes it special and i think for people in the uk having you know known how our clubbing scene especially in parts of the debts of the cd debts of soho and um uh, and all these other places right you know what the whole dress up sort of like bdsm after dark theme is like so when they when people do dress up here in the uk they really go extra and over the board especially because we're a little bit we can be a little we can be a little bit puritanical sometimes so when the lights go off people can get a bit crazy so i've always wanted to go right and i, I think i'm definitely going to go especially with this whole new regime that i'm on right so by the time that happens in september which is the one that they've come they've put on here which i've got here on the screen right can you see that uh, uh, uh. let's just get this off here let's make sure this is over there hopefully you can see the actual screen but when they yeah so when they come back again so they basically announced a whole slew of dates crossbreed and they've got a new event obviously that they're doing putting together with a place called fawn uh crossbreed with kiwi and citizen citizen who I actually met actually a long time ago at a love fever party back in the day um i took a couple pictures of him actually when he was kind of you know coming through i think that might have been was he signed to alex bradley's label i don't know but yeah i met him a few a few years ago so that's pretty cool to see him on the list anyway They've got this crossbe they've got a party sex positive party that they do they put out there it's really cool it's kinky people get dressed up so it looks like a lot of fun and i always went to go and now they're you know putting on this event um at the what's it called that space 289 on the 3rd of september on a friday 11 till 5 a.m so it's going to be a proper good one right and i always went to go and they've done this interesting thing with this one going forward where they specifically decide i'm going to get that picture out of the way so i don't want to get taken out on youtube here but they're specifically decided to cater this event to people from the BIPOC, BIPOC, no, POC, BIPOC, whatever that is, um, community. And I'm curious to know what people actually feel about parties deciding to open up their tickets allocation specifically for a certain group of, a certain demographic of people or a certain race of people or people that represent or people that kind of represent a certain way or people that have a certain sexual per 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 persuasion you know what i mean right so this is this is the actual um text that accompanies the event it says we are so excited to be teaming up with the formidable four in london to throw a smaller party celebrating queer people of color so pretty clear in what they want to do there tickets for this event will be application only and will be available to queer poc first um welcome to crossbreed summer of love citizen aka not nothing inc uh no no, no was it no nothing inc or no no inc whatever that is um we'll be joining kiwi and playing all night long um we will have a playroom and a wellness sanctuary leave your bigotry and prejudice at the door jump into the head in this playground that welcomes queer people of color sex positivity and kink tickets will be initially only available for bipos bipoc and poc to apply that's an email with your instagram handle and a few words about yourself and a picture we'll get back to you with a link to tickets and you can buy your up to four tickets and bring whoever you like crossbeat is a most is a music focused party is open to everyone who is respectful and accepting we operate a zero tolerance policy on homophobia racism prejudice and constant violations of any kind we have a strict dress code and failure to adhere will result in you being turned away at the door without a refund please read the party rules on our website which kind of states you know what you basically are not meant to do basically have house rules which are pretty cool in terms of creating a safe space it says people of color are consistently fascized and are represented within the scene we are doing our best to combat this injustice prejudice sorry crossbreed prides itself on harm reduction and stands firm to create the safer spaces and community within the club culture our staff will be wearing high vis armbands and will be present around the venue and in the playroom feel free to approach them if you have any concerns at any point and if there are to keep uh, and, and they are there to keep you safe and make sure you have an unforgettable experience please check the venue's website for accessibility information so 
how would you feel if you saw that and you saw that they were purposely or they were actively trying to encourage people from a certain community to sign up for tickets first and making it priority for them and then of course if you are outside of that you could then come in a second round does that make you feel a way i don't think so personally i think unfortunately this is what has to be done um i think if you do want to have inclusion and diversity because i think I, I remember saying something similar to like when um when there was a few festivals i was saying oh we're gonna have lineups 50 50 we're gonna have yeah gendered lineups right well no we're gonna have our lineups be 50 50 so half women half men um i was of the thinking that that was pretty dumb because you know by and large i'd imagine you'll probably find a greater you'll probably be able to select from a bigger pool of guy djs than female djs just just the way it is what you actually should be doing is just trying to kind of mix it up a little bit you know that's what you have to do. you don't have to make it 50 50 just mix it up don't just don't book the same woman try and book other women that don't get the chance to play on those kind of stages or on those kind of nights but <coughs> The unfortunate part of it is that when you're first doing it, it's just going to be clunky. It's always going to feel a little bit performative when you are first trying to make your lineups more inclusive and make them a bit more diverse. It's always going to feel very, very clunky because you're just going to chuck somebody in there. You're not going to give them any prep. You're not going to give the audience a chance to kind of get to know who they are. Um, they're going to be thrown to the deep end. They might sink. They might swim. Who knows? And then most of the time when that does happen, they sink those, you know, established um establishments decide to just oh we're going to move on and go back to what we know but what i like about this is that they've tried they've done obviously the, the usual way that they usually do where you kind of you know everyone's kind of allowed in but they've also seen that hey our events are maybe not as inclusive as we want them to be and we want to make sure that these people feel comfortable enough to come to our thing so here here's a party Per, per, here's a part we put together specifically to make people f like yourself feel comfortable and hopefully you have a great time and you evangelize about it and tell your friends because that's how i heard about crossbreed i heard it from somebody else somebody else went and i've always had the back of my mind shit there's a party that looks like this like something i'd kind of go to if i went to berlin in london that's flipping cool and these guys really take what they do seriously like i said they've got a whole kind of sick website where they sell great bits of merch and you know sex gear and stuff like they're, they're really really cool they have a great instagram they take awesome pictures like it's just a sick little thing all put together it's really really amazing a lot of real caring it's not like again it's not like a party that i've ever put on where it's just you know in some abandoned building somewhere with a couple speakers in the corner they look like they really really take care of what they do so with that said i think it's pretty cool that they decided to do this and again citizen i have kind of bumped into him back in the day in the scene um i managed to take a couple pictures with him or of him when he was djing at love fever one of my favorite parties back in the day that they used to throw in some random in some abandoned warehouse spaces all across east london so it should be a pretty decent night but i wonder what my um non uh black viewers think of this would you be annoyed if you saw this listing and you went to go but you you weren't allowed to get tickets first it was kind of predominantly kind of catered towards people that look like myself or do you think this is a welcome change or something that should be maybe you know adopted by other places other establishments other kind of you know mainstream clubs and club nights let me know in the comments down below i'd love to know your thoughts and opinions regarding this